Hey you guys, it's Chris Trollo over at Arbutus RV. I want to take you through a really cool little layout. It's a Reflection 150 series. It's a 295 rear living. Let's check this one out. So for those of you that aren't familiar with this layout, it is extremely well balanced. Um, I kind of call it a retiree trailer because for two people, uh, it's perfect. Uh, so here we are in the utility area. You've got space for double batteries. Uh, you've got a 60 amp solar controller there. You've got your Intelli powered charger. Uh, this does have prep for inverter, uh, so you're good that way. And then your electric jacks in the front. Speaking of jacks, it is an auto leveling system on here. And then next to that's gonna be your tire link uh, connector. That's gonna be for your TPMS monitor. Like all grand design, you've got your hookups here for your water. You can do your winterization from here. You can set up for dry camping. Your water would plumb up from down low, as would your cable which would connect there. On the outside, we've got hot water on demand. Right next to that's gonna be your furnace. I love that that's not on campsite side, part of me. Uh, we're dealing with a 50 amps uh, power supply on this. So something to keep in mind when you're selecting where you're taking things. I love the red brake drums. I think that's just a cool effect on a white and black trailer. So coming around the back side, you've got a hitch down low uh, that's got a 300 pound tongue weight. So for those of you with e-bikes, it's a great place to store them. You're plumbed for uh, rear camera here as well. That's gonna be for Furion. Um, probably about 12 to 1400 bucks, depending on screen size for something like that, for that kit. So just to keep in mind, and that's installed for us. So over here on this side, uh, they do talk about anti-lock braking system. This is an industry first. Uh, Grand Design got to this first. Uh, they, from what I understand, this will start coming through to all the other manufacturers, but we do have that cornered in the market at the moment. So I'm just gonna back up and get just a view of this. So you got two massive awnings, LED light strips on both sides. Uh, this trailer's just got so much presence. So coming up to it, it does speak a little bit about Arctic insulation. So for three seasons camping, no problem. And for here on the West Coast, on the island, it's actually not bad for, uh, for winter as well. Solid steps coming in. And here's where the magic happens. So when I talked about this being well balanced, uh, the number one thing I get from a lot of people is can I access things with the slides closed? Well, this slide comes up to the island. So it's going to cut off here. I can still get past that. This slide's gonna come up to about here, but here's a kicker. That fridge is gonna clear the island so you can get to your fridge, make a quick sandwich over here. If you gotta go to the bathroom, here you go. And if you need to have a nap while you're still on the truck sitting on the side of the highway, guess what, you're safe. So let's get back to, uh, to the features here. So the like any other rear living, uh, you've got a fold-out couch in the back. You've got recliners opposite the entertainment area. I love the booth dinette setup here. It's kind of like a hybrid. You can take this actually, this lower piece, and use this as an ottoman over there. Sorry for the quick camera movement. You've got a power recliner here. This does have the disco lights down low. You can change the colors. It's got a massage function. Uh, it's also got heating as well. So for those of you with lower back pain, that's nice to have. As mentioned, this couch does fold out. Uh, so if someone wants to come and crash the party, uh, you've got space for them to, to sleep. Overhead cabinetry in the back, more cabinetry around in the entertainment area. Uh, they do supply this TCL TV. The reason being uh, is they use Roku. Roku allows you to connect uh, wirelessly and stream like your Netflix and, you know, Disney Channel, Paramount, all of it. So it's nice to have. Down low here, uh, we've got a little electric fireplace. It's not super huge, uh, but the big thing is it's got beautiful LED lighting for just a nice effect, especially at night. And you've got a heater built into that as well. Look at the size of the drawer right under the TV. So great for storage. Up above here, we're also dealing with AM, FM, satellite radio. Um, this will also connect via HDMI and USB ports. Nice to have. Moving into the kitchen area. Cabinetry, cabinetry, cabinetry. Grand Design just does such a great job with this. You've got your big island over here. Residential style sink that is stainless. Same with the uh, with the faucet. You got the spray nozzle like you would in a home. And look at this. Look at how thick that wood is. Garbage can tucked away. Huge storage under the sink. And if you're not worrying about a garbage can, what do you put in there? The stove is one size up than what you would get in a typical travel trailer. Uh, so I'm happy with that. Um, a little bit bigger you can get away with putting a bird in there uh, if you're out in the seasons 
up top beautiful microwave uh only for when you're on uh, shore power folks i remember that and then over here, this I believe this is a 10 cubic foot, 12 volt compressor fridge. Uh, the advantages of these fridges are plenty. One, you can get uh, peak temperature within probably a couple of hours of turning them on. Uh, there's more than enough solar on the roof to keep this guy uh, countered as far as your battery is concerned. Less maintenance with these guys than the old dual modes. Um, just less fuss and muss in general. Also, there's no uh, venting on the back of the fridge outside that you have to worry about with uh, rodents or bees, which is a common thing, unfortunately, with the bee side of it. Upper cabinetry all throughout. And it's finished. Like, look in the back. That's all finished back there. They didn't put, uh, you know, the wall, so to speak. Um, so we use this to store away our books that come with the trailer. Up top there, that's your uh, travel fi, so that allows you to extend uh, the campground's Wi-Fi to your campsite for you. So down low here, this is going to be just your uh, your breaker panel, fuse panel, uh, utility area, which is nice. It's heading on up the stairs. Not the biggest bathroom, but again, you got to remember, this is supposed to be an ultralight uh, fifth wheel. And it's got a very functional bathroom. Good sized shower stall here. It's got a little bit of a port up above. I'm six foot. Uh, I can climb in there no problem. It's probably closer to six and a half feet. And the tub is also recessed downward. So you're not up in a pedestal like you are in some of the other RVs. Really, really nice effect. Medicine cabinet up above and then some more storage and linen space down low. Heading into the bedroom just the right amount of space in here too uh, so you've got 110 and usb on either side of the bed so for folks that are dealing with cpap you've got that available to you there's shelving and ledges on both sides overhead cabinetry for storage and then they even tucked another closet in over on this side here so we'll just take a peek in there so four shelves four drawers pardon me going all the way down to the floor that are all fairly deep and very functional. And then a good size closet space here too. So I do not see plumbing for washer dryer and I don't think there's enough depth here to store one. So for those of you looking for that, this may not be the way to go, but either way, here we are. So again, I wanna thank you all for spending some time watching my videos. I see you out there. I can see the video count. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching and stay in touch.